what the main concern is for me and my condition is that at any given moment, um, my heart can go into an arrhythmia um, that is a lot of the times uh, the reason for sudden cardiac arrest, um, and my heart can go into arrhythmia at any time and, you know, quit working, basically. Sudden cardiac arrest is a particularly dangerous and potentially lethal condition, which if not corrected within several minutes after it starts, can lead to death. It happens when the heart suddenly loses the ability to pump blood effectively to the body, and particularly the brain, causing the person to collapse. Sudden cardiac arrest happens if your heart suddenly starts beating very fast and quivers instead of beating in a regular and organized way. Very little or no blood gets pumped to your body and brain. If left untreated, sudden cardiac arrest may lead to death within minutes. You might think that sudden cardiac arrest is similar to a heart attack or myocardial infarction, but it's not. Myocardial infarction, or MI, is a medical term that is more commonly referred to as a heart attack. In a heart attack, one of the blood vessels that supplies blood to the heart muscle becomes blocked with a blood clot. This decrease in blood supply to the heart muscle can cause death of the heart muscle and is uh, felt by the patient as chest pain, or we call that angina. The most common causes of sudden cardiac arrest are two related kinds of heart racing known as ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. With ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation, the heart races extremely rapidly such that it is unable to pump blood effectively to the brain and to the body. This causes a decrease in blood flow to the brain which can cause a person to collapse and even die. It is a particularly dangerous condition that needs to be corrected within several minutes or death will occur. Defibrillation corrects the heart rate to its normal rate with an electrical pulse. There are two types of defibrillators. Emergency medical technicians carry and use automatic external defibrillators. External defibrillators may also be located in public places such as schools, auditoriums, and on airplanes. A small device implanted under your skin called an implantable defibrillator can also correct your heart rate and save your life. An external defibrillator must be located nearby to be used in time to be effective. An implantable defibrillator is always with you and can deliver life-saving therapy in seconds. Sudden cardiac arrest is not a new disease. It's been around for as long as there has been heart disease. What we haven't been able to do is find effective ways of treating it and preventing the occurrence of sudden cardiac arrest. Within the last several years, there have been several major clinical trials that have clearly shown that there can be effective therapy for preventing sudden cardiac arrest, and the most effective of those is the implantable defibrillator. Come here, baby. Fortunately, an implantable defibrillator is a good way to protect yourself from sudden cardiac arrest. An implantable defibrillator remains on call, monitoring your heart rhythm 24 hours a day, ready to help you should you need it.